Hi, I'm Mark Reisnauer, Senior Vice President of the Oncology Business Unit at Estellas, and I'm here with Andy Krivoshek, who's our Senior Vice President and Oncology Therapeutic Lead at Estellas. Normally, Andy and I would be at the booth at ASCO. Uh, this year would have been the 56th annual meeting, American Society of Clinical Oncology, and we'd be doing this live from the booth. But as you know, it's not been a normal year, and we're having to do this virtually. Indeed, Mark. Regardless, it's great that we still have a chance to connect via video as we head into ASCO's virtual meeting. While the format may be new for us this year, the forum is perhaps more important than ever for the oncology community. It's critical that we still have a forum that enables us to gather together, even if virtually, to share our research insights, scientific advancements, and key learnings. Andy, I couldn't agree with you more. And in light of COVID-19, the oncology community needs more help than ever before. Astellas is committed to those who are touched by cancer. So we enter this ASCO with three marketed products, which demonstrates our progress in bringing medicines to patients, including those with hard to treat cancers. So Andy, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the data that we're presenting at ASCO this year? Absolutely. This year, Estellas will be virtually sharing data from eight abstracts across our research and development program. Key highlights include a poster discussion with our partner Pfizer in the phase three trial in men with non-metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer, as well as data being presented as a poster discussion from the phase three trial in patients with relapsed or refractory acute myeloid uh, leukemia um, that are FLT3 positive mutated. And then lastly, we have a number of key updates, both from um, our program in gastric cancer and prostate cancer, as well as with our uh, program in bladder cancer uh, with our collaboration partner, uh, Seattle Genetics. It's really great to see the overall breadth and depth of our research and development portfolio here on display at ASCO this year. And really, there's two things worth noting. One, it's having two abstracts selected as poster discussions. And secondly, that the overall survival analysis on our advanced prostate cancer medicine that was presented at ASCO also was published simultaneously in the New England Journal of Medicine, which further demonstrates the strength of our portfolio. Absolutely. And not only I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the research and development team for these remarkable accomplishments, but also to thank the entire Estellas community. Not only were they able to operate under unprecedented times and challenges that weren't anticipated, but bring this important data forward to such a meeting as ASCO really highlights their commitment to addressing areas of high unmet needs for patients with very difficult to treat indications. So thank you. Agreed, Andy. And I'd like to close by saying that I hope all of our colleagues and each patient, healthcare worker, and stakeholder that we serve is able to stay safe during this COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm proud to be part of Astellas as we work together, whether that's in person or virtually, to make every day better for those impacted by cancer.